The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Let's go to Sean in Canada. Hey, Sean, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how's it going, brother? It's going great, man. How you doing? I'm a huge fan of the show. I just found out about you guys within the last uh, month and a half. Okay. And I can't believe I'm like, where did these guys come from? How did you find out about us? Sometimes I'll go and I'll go in the search engine and try to find some market analysis. Okay, man. <laughs> Welcome to the Tiger family. Appreciate you growling a problem with us, man. Yeah, man. I really appreciate you guys, and I'm just excited to watch your bid. I get a lot out of them. I really love the intros you do and the excitement and the energy, and you guys are pretty special. Well, we got a great network, man. And there's a lot of diversity, man, and we're really lucky. Thank you so much for calling, man. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, Sean. Have a great one. Have a safe Thanks. one. You too, bud. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, Whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Love coming out of you makes you happy. The whole world can love you, but that's not the love that'll make you happy. What will make you happy is to share the love you have inside of you. That is the love that will make the difference. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down five, NASDAQ up 10, S&P's flat. Gold contract up $7.20, trading at 1237 an ounce. Silver up $0.18, cents, $16.79 an ounce. Platinum up $10, 9 dollars an ounce. Copper up a penny, two fifty four dollars a pound. Late Sweet Crude down $0.19, cents, $48.97 a barrel. We'll have the API numbers coming out at 4.30 today. Bonds, 10-year note up three ticks, $125.17. 30-year bond up 12 ticks, 151.21. Bottom line, notes and bonds still want higher price, lower yield. King dollar, king dollar down 801 ticks, 98 even. King dollar confirmed ABC structure on the way down, blowing out its B point today, blowing out the bottoms, wide price spread, accelerated volume, all of the above. Uh, you get the first price projection is 96.835. We're at 98 right now. And it looks that I suspect, uh, whether it's two or three months, we're going to 91 on this dollar, folks. It's going to be pretty intense. The euro, the euro is trading at 110, almost 111. We're at 110.94. The yen is at 113. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Why not go on your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? You're at the highs out here. We're at 239.98. High of yesterday was at 240.44. You get to 240.67 today. Bottom line, it's trying to get up over the March 1st high, which is 240.32. Um, volume, we have 35 million uh, out here today. Yesterday, you did 61 million. I don't think we'll do 61 million today. So, bottom line is that um, you need a lot more volume to get up and over this uh, baby. And thus far, we don't have it. Dow Industrials, what do we have with the Dow? Now, the Dow is the weakest indice. Uh, what we have with the Dow now is you got one, two, three. This is the fourth lower high since March 1st. Your high is 21,169. That was generated on the 1st. Try to tag it on April 26th. You got the 21,070. Try to tag it again the 9th of May. You got to 21,046. Today, you got the 21,033. So what you have here, this is a classic, too. It's pretty wild that it's actually inside the Dow. Um, a little bit easier, I'd say, because you're only selling 30 stocks to keep the baby down. But there's a seller there that just does not want that to go to another high. Gold contract. What do we have with the gold contract? Gold contract right now, trading at a price point of 1237. You have 191,000 contracts traded. Not bad. I'd like to see more, actually. Uh, it's an expansion. You know, bottom line, we're at uh, anything inside the 1236.40, which we're at 1237.30, gets us in the higher range. That was the downdraft of the 3rd of May, and that was a heck of a downdraft. So bottom line is that the further we get into that, 
the higher the probability that you're going to get to the top of that, which is the 57 mark. So uh, that's a big mark. That's when we had gone down from 1257 to 1236. Silver is, silver caught a bid yesterday, and we're getting some juice out of it today. So uh, silver has 68,000 contracts out here today, which is great contract volume. Yesterday, it had the price spread and the volume. We did 80,000 yesterday. Uh, the number to keep your eye on in silver is $16. Dollars and 92 cents. We made 16.86 thus far today. You get into 16.86, uh, you're going to get action because that's going to be in the higher range. Silver did a full 100% retracement, 100% move of the move. It held its low. Uh, the low of um, December 15th held as well as the strength from January uh, 3rd. Notes. We go take a look at the note market. Note market, folks, bottom line, this is going to just be wild watching this thing shake out because bottom line, um, these want higher price and we're not that far away from the last highs, which is pretty amazing. So the low of the last high, folks, okay, is 125.26. We made 125.23 today. This is what's really amazing. This is like pretty cool. Um, people buying bonds. They're, they're raising the price. Yields are going down. Uh, this little baby here uh, looks to me like we're going to be right into it, too. We'll be into it this week. So the high in the 10-year is 126.20. This very well can be an ABC structure on the way up. And if it is, your A point down is 122.20. Your B is 126.20. So you get 4 bucks, which brings you to 128.23. That would be a big move. The yield on the 10-year right now, this is where it's shaken out. You're at 2.326. That 2.326, the low over the last three months has been 2.1. The high is 2.6. If we take a look at this on a six-month basis, you're going to see on a six-month basis, 2.1, the low, 2.6, the high. We're at 2.3. And then if we take it for the year, you're going to see that we're at the high end. But the last six months, we're at the lower end uh, of this curve. 30-year bond. Take a look at the 30-year. 30 30-year 30 bond is 150, 121, and 152 is the number. And the 30-year bottom line looks like it's going to get up into this level tomorrow. You get up into that level tomorrow, 30-year also say, number one, you're going to go for the 155.16, and that very well also could be a large ABC structure on the way up. King Dollar. King dollar, folks, get the peanut butter, get the jelly, get the cream cheese, get everything you want to put on this baby because this is toast. You get the wide price spread out here today. You get the accelerated volume. Uh, you're breaking the B point of uh, 98,355. We had 29,000 contracts there. We've already done 31,000. You get a confirmed ABC structure on the way down. That is in the short term. The longer term, King dollar had a monster failure on price, failure on volume, all of the above. Uh, we had a four-month consolidation. It took that consolidation out in November, failed, got back inside the range. Let's say King Doll is running, going to run down to 91.88. And if you break 91.88, guess what? King Doll is down back to 80 bucks. Yeah, 80 bucks. That would be a trip. You stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Dow Industrials right now down seven. Nasdaq is up 11. S&P's a flat. We're going to be right back. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. 
In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Until recently, it was almost impossible for the average investor to hedge against currency risk in Europe or Japan. For a bold trade on Europe or Japan that protects against moves in currency, trade HEGE -E or HEGJ, two times currency hedged leveraged ETFs from Direction Investments. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Tom, take your phone calls. Now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Shows right now are down six. You get the Nasdaq up 11. S&Ps are down one and a half. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday and Thursday. And don't forget, folks, Basil's got a great program right here at TFNN. Every trading day, 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time. And don't forget, you can get all the programming at TFNN right on your cell phone. You go to TFNN.com. You, you hit uh, Tiger TV. Bottom line, you're going to get some great HD quality video as well as audio. And we're going to have him coming right up. I can see Basil in the den, so that's all right. Okay, cool. He's going to be right with you, folks. And, 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 and as we're going, um, as he's, he's coming on, I know he's here. I can see you, Basil. I don't know why they can't see you. Basil Chapman, what's going hi, on? Tom. That, that was me. I, I shut it off by mistake. I was, I, uh, was don't checking worry, the mic. Don't worry about it. It's a beautiful it. thing, How are you man. doing? I'm doing good. Yourself? Very well, thank you. Good, good. So, um, we got the Teflon market here, man. It just it shakes off anything, Basil. It doesn't matter what happens, man. So, this is very interesting <laughs> because we're in the 11th week since the March 1st high on the Dow. Now, yeah. I know it's only it's only 30 stocks, but uh, nevertheless, it's, it's still 11 weeks. Yes. And it hasn't broken to the 21,170 level for a new high. So, my contention is that this... We've looked at this for a while. We've spoken about it as being a very selective and very mixed market. On the left here, you'll see this is the Dow Daily. On the in the middle yeah. here is the weekly chart. On the right is the monthly chart. Okay. Interesting enough, let me just show this here, just for those people who are not sure of what I do. My my technique basically looks at the lowest, most obvious low and counts each successively higher peak alphabetically. Yes. I, I, I label them uppercase A, B, C, D. When it gets to D. Other things can happen. It can even go to a G, but the point is that once once you get to the D, that's when you take your foot off the accelerator and you, you ha hover over the brake and you just wait to see how it unfolds at that point. Well, there's your D in the weekly chart for the Dow. And from that 21,169 level, uh, the week of the 3rd of March, we've not broken above it. There have been signs to say that there was um, you, you could do it, 
But what we've really seen, oh, and it's, this had, something it's, had, it's had the chance. There's no it's doubt. Had, it's had the chance. But. But look at the move on the right. Look at this. Look at those fantastic green up bars, these yeah. candles. And then all of a sudden it stalls. And you, you know from the momentum to the upside that if the, I know people say it's only 30 stocks. The way I've been looking at the Dow for about a year now, this is the best mix in the Dow. Maybe it's just a little too heavily weighted to the financials, but that's going to turn out to be a really good thing later on because my monthly charts are all still very, very positive. But they have seven, uh, sorry, five financials in the uh, in the Dow out of 30 stocks. That's the biggest weighting. But overall, it's the best. I like it. I like it because it's got a mix of um, high tech. It's got everything now in the Dow in the 30. So I do like it very much. So this is saying to me, um, that the struggle that the Dow has had to break even this little, look at this, I'm going to bring it across here. There's a trend line, I'll make it nice and thick. Wait, let's make it nice and thick. You see this trend line right here? Yes. Um, it's I call this pattern the falling axe. It looks like an axe with a handle and here's the blade that opens out. As soon as the price breaks above this resistance, it wants to go to the left side high, which is usually the flagpole high, in this case, the high of the first. And so far, it's had great difficulty doing it. And that talks about this bifurcated market. So I said to subscribers, what we're really looking at, the question is, is the NASDAQ, which has been the leader in many ways, but it really is the leader because it's got the, the top stocks that are not only the top stocks, they're the top stocks, even the, the NASDAQ stocks that are in the Dow, like Apple, um, they are holding beautifully. So... It isn't as if it's doing it on its own. Many of the NASDAQ stocks are moving high, but it's really the weighting of these major stocks like Netflix, uh, Google, sure. um, et cetera, Amazon. They're really carrying the weight. So that And fund managers tend to stay in the same sector all the time. Remember how they were flying into the IBB, the biotechs, when oh, the yeah. biotechs were moving? They were never wrong, even on an hourly basis, if they bought any dip until the top was made and then... That was not the place to be. At this point, they're still being rewarded very well to, for being in these stocks. Now, my contention is that um, this 10, 11 week consolidation, you have to look at it either that the NASDAQ is the leader and then the S&P just fractionally went to a new all time high over the last week, twice it's made new highs. Uh, but the really just nominal new highs is still really in a consolidation phase. And then what is the NASDAQ now going to bring the S&P and then the Dow and then the IWM, the Rus Russell 2000 and then the New York Stock Exchange to new highs? I don't think that's the way I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it, and I've been on my show, my Tiger Technician's Hour at 11 o'clock. I, I went through a number of stocks. Uh, I just grabbed, for instance, Tell. Be, the, there was a stock I mentioned to you uh, a few weeks ago. Beat was the symbol. Most of you haven't heard of it. I hadn't even heard, and heard of it until I saw it in the Investor's Business Daily. By its telemetry. Well, it was number one in their top 50, and what I'd said is, there's a round number 34 high. It's made a peak D. Everything about it seems to indicate it should pull back. Earnings came back and it just slumped. So they took, so then that was off the list. And TAL, which is a Chinese, uh, a Chinese after school tutoring uh, education group, um, that took the lead. And it started, it had a big pullback. It's had a nice move today, but it also looks like it's starting to become overbought. So as I go through each one of these stocks, I'm looking at, I'm saying, I know that the semiconductors have led the way to the upside, and I know that there's been very specific reasons for some of these stocks in the in the Nasdaq in the index 100 to really move sharply. They've mostly had really good earnings, so they deserve to move higher. But if on a purely technical basis, if I'm looking at them, I think that the upside right here is starting to become limited. So that would be the QQQ series, which I think even today, yep, today made a new high. I've got it in leg as E on the upside. Um, so I'm thinking that for my subscribers, we're actually in quite a good cash position. We do have positions, some short, some long. But what's really important right now is that I think that we're looking at the upside. I'm showing a couple of indicators, not the price, but the, the on-balance volume and the faster moving average uh, that I, I'm showing right here. There's the nine period moving average, but there's also a seven period moving average that's starting to show signs of being overbought. So I think we're starting to get to a, a, a price point where the upside is becoming much more limited. 
But as soon as the QQQ breaks 138 support, it's at 139.43, it starts to test the nine-period moving average. And once it starts to close under that, I think we'll start to see a consolidation. So to sum it up, if I, I'm wrong if the Dow uh, trades 100 points higher from here, 20,000, let's call it 20,080, then, then I have to say, you know what, it's probably going to retest the highs. But I think it's really struggling. And you had mentioned the dollar just a few minutes ago. If you look at what's happening in the dollar, even the you would expect so typed it in the wrong place. You would expect that in the dollar you'd find out now which of the multinationals are really going to benefit and which are going to suffer. So I thought, all right, let's uh, let's look at uh, Procter and Gamble. This is a multinational, if and it's not doing much. And if you look at Johnson & Johnson, it is rallying. So even within the context of the dollar, you're seeing a mixed market. So I think we're real close to some kind of a pullback, we'll know within a couple of days, I think. And folks, you come over to our website at TFNN, Test Drive Basil's newsletter right now. You go to newsletters, go to the opening call, Test Drive at 30 days, absolutely free. Basil, have a great one, a safe one. Look forward to the show tomorrow. Thank you very much, Tom. You too. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. The Gold Letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank Bank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. A Rubik's Cube offers more than 100 million starting positions, resulting in 43 billion billion potential twists and turns. Yet this puzzle can be solved in 20 moves. Knowing the right move makes all the difference in the world. And on Wednesday, May 17th at 5.30 p.m., I'll share with you the five essential patterns for timing the market so that you can make the right moves and become a better trader and investor. A few weeks back, I showed you how to spot a bear market with two moves that the market always makes. And on Wednesday, I'll unlock the five best moves for timing any market for any time frame. To gain access to this extraordinary one-hour workshop, test drive my newsletter service, Mastering Probability, for the next 30 days for free. Just visit the homepage at TFNN.com and click on the link, Five Essential Patterns for Timing the Market, and you'll be able to attend live as well as review this workshop anytime during the next 30 days. I'm looking forward to helping you solve the puzzle of the markets, and I'll see you on Wednesday, May 17th. TFNN.com, we've got your back. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. So some of the higher volume stocks, and this is going to be a big low time volume market out here, too, by the way. The Advanced Micro is up by $1.16. We have um, Pfizer down 59 uh, Chesapeake Energy is uh, down 35. Nvidia is up two bucks. Microsoft's up a buck 14. Uh, Dick Sporting Goods that's getting hit. That's down seven bucks. That's a big number. It's almost down. Uh, it's almost. My God, let me. Dick Sporting. That's almost down 15 percent. Yeah, it's down to 18 percent actually. 
Uh, Citigroup is up a buck. Uh, you get ST up a 2.52. Yahoo is up a buck 19. Uh, we get over. Let's go take a look at uh, Dick Sporting Goods. Uh, so. One after the other, these retailers are going down the tubes, folks. Pretty amazing. You talk about losing market cap like in four days. So it was $51 four days ago. You're breaking a B point, breaking it with volume. It's a huge ABC down to your A point is 62. Your B is uh, 46. So you got 16 bucks. You got uh, 52, 42. 32, 36 bucks, man. 36 bucks is coming at you. Uh, that's that's pretty intense, man. No doubt about it. And then uh, if you go over to one of the biggest, well, the biggest mall operator in the United States is Simon. Simon has just gone from 150, 185 to 154. This is an ABC down confirmed to 135. So there's trouble in retail paradise. Let's go to Rich in Portland. Hey, Rich, what's going on? Hey, Tom, thanks for taking my call. Sure, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. Hey, I was looking at uh, Endeavor Silver EXK. Yes. And I was wondering, is this a possible entry point here? Let's take a look. You get EXK, a uh, small cap silver company, uh, does business in Mexico. Low is 276. The high is 576, 595 rather. Um, okay, so. This equity here, folks, is a real personality stock. And what I mean specifically is that when you get this thing right, yeah, it loves to move. When you get it wrong, oh, baby, get out of the way. So you're going into um, this downdraft, Rich, from March 3rd, the week yeah. of March 3rd, and it's vicious, man. I mean, No kidding. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I wouldn't be biting on this. You okay. know, I would wait for a big sign of strength first. Because it's going to take quite a bit to get through this, you know. I, yeah, I suspect we'll get it, but I would wait for the sign of strength first, and then you buy the next retracement after that. And I was looking at that versus AG. I'm not in Endeavor, but I am. I did get into First Majestic. Okay, so now this is a better looking one, but this is kind of a personality stock too. I, I like looking at both of these. Believe me, I look at both of these every day. Um, I figured you did. <laughs> yeah, and, and what happens is that I like AG a, a lot better. Um, you know, it, normally, okay. and what happens, folks, is I'm sure there's a lot of you uh, folks that are in the silver market that look at both of these, and what has happened is this, is that they both used to move together, and they don't anymore. They this, you know, it, you know, they just haven't since that couple downdraft in um, uh, EX uh, Endeavor. Uh, but this one here is, is a decent setup, man. I mean, I think it's going to at least test that swing point out there. The, the low of the swing is 10 bucks, the high is 1092. And, you know, if that can get launched, then you're going to get action, man. I mean, a lot of these silver stocks, though, are going to take a lot of building costs to repair the damage on the way down. You know, you don't, what's intriguing are the silver stocks versus the gold stocks. The gold stocks, don't have damage on the way down like some of these silver stocks do. do. Like right here, this has this has some good damage in it, you know. Oh yes, yeah. so, uh, first majestic, like like your phrase, uh, it was a vicious. Hit. Yeah, yeah. There's, and, there's 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 no doubt. Um, and I'm not sure whether I can stay in it very long just for fear of another slam. Yeah, I I listen. I <laughs> uh, I I get it. Believe me, you know. Okay, you might, you might you might want to start trading more gold stocks. <laughs> well, yeah. I got some of those too. But, yeah, uh, I was I was just interested in what Endeavor was doing, and I knew you had mentioned it before over the months. Yeah, uh, that it was a, a personality stock, but like you said, th both of these, First Majestic and Endeavor, really got slammed hard and fast. They did, and so here, let's go to the silver market for a second, because what has okay. happened is this, and this is you know the. The silver market itself, folks, okay, we finally caught a bid here. So, I mean, you know, that being said, uh, we know that what, what does end up happening in the silver market is that when this catches the bid, this can go up 40, 50 cents in a heartbeat. And what you, you can't do is turn around and, you know, with these little silver stocks saying, oh, it's down 5%, it's down 10%, it's up 5%, it's up 10%. Up They're always up 
are down 5% and 10%, folks. <laughs> That's the amazing thing about them. So, you know, if Silva can get it back inside the $16.92, I think you're going to see some big action in those Silva stocks. You know, because even when I had uh, um, Bob Archer on from Great Panther, um, you know, they came out with the numbers. The numbers were good. Uh, and it was interesting what he said. He said, you know, not, there's absolutely nothing that's happened, happened differently. And we, our stock just went from 220 down to 117. You know, so same deal. They, they, they got smoked uh, versus the, the gold. The golds got smoked. They got smoked pretty good. Well, but they didn't do a 100% move of a move. You know what I'm saying? No, but ABX really got slammed after their earnings. They did. They did. You know, and boy, that, 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 like you said, really pushes down the GDX. Yes, it does, because that's the largest weighting structure. Now, what may very well help, uh, you know, Barrick right now, though, is that you had a couple funds come in and buy them, and we'll see whether someone else chases the funds into buying those, you know. That came out last night, so, you know, we'll see how that shakes out. But that also has uh, damage that has to be repaired, and that yeah. damage inside uh, ABX is right where we are right now. That's when it had gap down. Uh, from a price point of 19 to 18, to 16.86, and you're right at 16.95. Boy, it takes your breath away watching these. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Hope, hopefully you'll be saying in another six weeks it takes your breath away from watching these, meaning that they've gone up, and then you got to grab your bread and run. Okay. <laughs> okay, man. I'm ready. Yeah, I, I bet you are. We all okay. are. Okay, locked and loaded. Yeah. Thank you, Tom. Okay, man. Have a great Have one. Have a good day. Have a safe one. And you know, when we when we do talk about that, folks. Uh, what you have had here is um, we get some pretty heavy divergence. You know, when the dollar is getting slammed like this, bottom line is that uh, these things could uh, and more than likely should be moving, you know, a lot higher, and they're not. That doesn't mean that, you know, they're, they're going to go lower. Uh, that is the, my term would be the building cause of them getting higher. Um, you know, so we'll see how that shakes out. But... Uh, you go over to the euro, you do the separate correlation inside the euro. The euro, man, this got some real traction. We're at 110.89. Looks like it's almost going to be a 111. The euro, you know, wants to basically run up to this 116 area, you know. So uh, inside the dollar index, you know, that's still the largest weighting structure. It's 57, 58 percent. Uh, the yen, uh, who the yen actually did get uh, a little downdraft going out here today. JPY. So the yen is 13.5%. That's, that's a good little downdraft today. We'll see uh, if the yen can get some more uh, downdraft going in the next few days. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow right now is flat. NASDAQ's up 15. s and are flat. We're going to be right back. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen live during those shows and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. With over $56 million in cash and over $66 million in working capital, Great Panther Silver is positioned as a company with a solid foundation and poised for growth. While completely unhedged to the price of silver, Great Panther retains 100% ownership in two producing mines in Mexico, which is the top silver producing country in the world, along with future potential production in Peru. Great Panther is highly leveraged to the price of silver, and after a great year of performance in 2016, Great Panther Silver has a strong outlook for 2017 as well. With good liquidity in trading and strong fundamentals on the balance sheet, while remaining completely unhedged to the price 
price of gold and silver, now is a perfect time to take a closer look at this equity. If you'd like to find out more about Great Panther Silver, then go to greatpanther.com or check them out on the NYSE market, symbol GPL, or the TSX, symbol GPR. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN. Dot com now. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. 877 927 6648. You know, we've been talking a lot about the note market, bond market. Our bottom line is that uh, you get the Federal Reserve. Uh, going to go up on rates uh, like there's a 97% poss probability uh, June 14th. That's short-term rates. That's bank-to-bank, -bank, another quarter percent. Uh, yet you have the 10-year going up, down on yield. The 30-year going up, down on yield. And uh, last night, what you just did have, you had the um, the data released, uh, the bond data released. And so check it out. Uh, this is one of the quotes. The last four months in Washington haven't exactly been smooth, uh, and the nation's foreign policy and growth spurring plans are still unclear. Uh, yet, that data that was released yesterday is that China just increased their holdings in the Treasury the most in the last two years, with Japan right behind them. Uh, bottom line is that uh, they're both coming in, into that debt market, and they're still coming, they're coming in a huge way, too. Um, so if you take a look at this, let me pull this up for a second, because when you do look at the worldwide rate, see, this is, when you actually look at this worldwide wide rate, it gets really, it, it's like, of course, if you, you know, when I say China's coming in, Japan's coming in, those are the central banks coming in buying folks, okay? Um, and it's, it can be more than that, but that's what they're talking about, right? They're, they're talking about the central banks coming in. So watch, when, when we take a look at it, um, if you're in Japan, they're paying, uh, what's that, the three one hundredths of one percent on the 10 year. Okay? That's like insanity. Um, we're paying 2.3%. Let me see if I can get, well, I don't have China in here. Next page. Give me another page. I must have another page here. Okay, um, I don't have what China is, but what you do have is this, uh, is that our rates are still so much higher than the world rates. Uh, here, I'll give you a rundown of just the major countries in Europe, Japan, Australia, New Zealand, Korea. When you take a look at all of them, these are the only ones that are higher than us. You have Brazil at 4.4. Colombia 3.7, Argentina 5.8, Mexico 3.5. Then you have to go to uh, Portugal 3.2. This is the 10 year. Greece 5.5. Greece, it's amazing that they can get money at, at any cost. Never mind 5.5. Um, New Zealand 2.9. Now that's on the 10 year. If we bring this out further and you go out to the 30 year, what you're going to see is that we're still high, we're at 2.990. Canada's at 2.2. United Kingdom's at 1.7. France is at 1.8. Germany's 1.2. The Netherlands is 1.2. Japan is eight tenths of 1%. So, you know, you, st you start doing those numbers, you can see 
we're in a one world economy. You get money that crosses lines very quickly. Uh, bottom line is that these interest rates are going to stay low for a while because there's so much cash. Why wouldn't you uh, turn around and buy U.S. Treasuries versus um, putting it in your own currency? Now, the bizarre part here has to do with the aspect of they're buying Treasuries right now, and this dollar is going to hell in a handbag. That's where this is going to get really <laughs> like, okay, you might be paying 2.2%. But if we do this in the euro, when the euro is going up versus uh, us going down, well, you can end up losing a lot of money. In fact, watch. I go like this. I bet I can do this. If I take the TY, I'm going to take a treasury note, and then I'm going to put it in, uh, no, they won't let me put it in euro terms. I wanted to put this in euro terms. Uh, but what you're going to see, that that is... Uh, one way that you can lose an awful lot of money, and the central banks could also. You know, uh, correlation-wise, it's supposed to work just the opposite, that if your rates are going up, your currency would get stronger. Well, in our case, there's something else that's hanging out here. Our currency is not only getting weaker, it's getting a lot weaker. And if you do take a look at this, and we put this on a continuous contract, what you're going to see is that you get a decisive breakout here. Um, you, you broke under everything for the, since uh, November. And, you know, the next stop is down at 95. And this is a ABC down, a confirmed one, to 96, 885. Eight, so, you know, there's no, there's no reason we really can't make it all the way down to 91, 880. And at 91, 880, that's the consolidation that we've been in for two and a half years. You break that, and then you really get trouble in paradise. Uh, the Inside the NDX 100, now it's intriguing inside the NDX 100 today, the leader, what's keeping the NDX 100 up today is Vodafone, is the, you know, which you, you hardly ever see. Vodafone's up 3.9%, uh, uh, Baidu's up 2.5%, Yahoo's up 2.3%, and you get C-Trip up 2.3%. Taken away from it is Symantec is down 2.3%, Norwegian Crew Line's off 2.3%, you get uh, Dollar Tree down 2.3%, and Citrix is down 23 Inside the Dow Industrials, the strength versus the weakness, uh, the strength out here is the IBM, and that's a dog, big dog. That's putting 16 points into it. United Health is taking 24 points out of it. Walmart's taking seven. Disney's take, taking seven. Nike's taking seven. Let's go over to uh, UNH for a second. So United Health. Okay, so United Health's coming off the highs, made a high, couldn't hold the high, which is 171. Now you're coming down with volume. It's going to go after this low of 162. Um, let's get over and take a look at Nike for a second. The reason we're looking at Nike is Dick's Sporting Goods, folks, is getting killed. Yeah, Nike gap down. Now, this, look at this. This is an ABC down, too. Unreal. These retailers, the clothing people, they're in trouble. This is a A point is 57. Your B is 53. That's not that bad. Four bucks. That gives you 50 bucks. But Nike is also in trouble. Let's see, put this on a monthly. So you're off a high of 68. You're at 52. We'll see how, what happens when it goes after this uh, swing low. The swing low out there is 49. You know, because what does happen is that the, when you have the aspect that first you have the, the malls going downtown, then what ends up happening is that, the, the, well, you have the stores in the malls going downtown, but what happens immediately when you have the stores in the malls going downtown, then the Dick's sporting goods of the world, they're buying less equipment off the Nikes. Why? Because there's less people there. They start going south. It doesn't take much um, that those large stores don't make expenses, and then you're, you're not only going to go down. Um, my take, folks, is that the tipping point uh, has already happened here. And once the tipping point happens, which I think it has, you're going to see a very fast acceleration on the way down. And the rest of the stores, the big box stores, the beautiful box stores like Macy's and Nordstrom, okay? Um, destruction, pure destruction. And then you're going to see the destruction uh, inside the, the mall structure. Simons is doing it right now, SPG. Um, it's... 
You know, the stock has just gone from uh, 225, I think. Yeah, we just went to, yeah, 228. 229 to 154. And it's not done. It's an ABC down at 135. You stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will Will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. The Dow right now uh, is down 8. NASDAQ is uh, up 18. S&Ps are... Flat, and if we do uh, look at, uh, I want to show, show you a difference. Um, so if you can look at uh, Kimco Realty, uh, this here is an owner, folks, of the like B and C malls. Now these got hit first. Uh, when you take a look at this, you're going to see what I'm talking about. Uh, this baby, you know, has already gone from 32 down to 18. And when you take a look at this, it, it never got the expansion uh, that Simon's got anyway. But uh, this baby... Uh, is going to, it's right now at where it was in January of 09, and the lows are March of 09, and the high of the low is $9, the low is 633. This baby's going to go after it. You know, it's going to be pretty wild. Uh, it's, it's sad. There's no doubt about it that, you know, that whole mall structure, I mean, there's some beautiful stores that you, you might as well take a picture of them right now because uh, guess what? Ten years from now, they're not going to be there. And if you can figure out what you could put in the malls and replace that whole structure because it's going to be replaced, I'm sure you, you can do very well. Uh, what, what we are going to see end up getting hit is kind of like, like the, uh, the bond funds that um, Puerto Rico 
municipal debt is hitting. That, um, that'll still take a couple years to get hit. Uh, but those bonds that are supporting all those malls, they're going to get hit. They're not, they're not going to be, my take is that they wouldn't get paid 100 cents on the dollar. Because what you, what you have, there's not like, so picture this. What new brick stores have you heard of that are growing? <laughs> Period. Or any new ones? All the, all the stores that we have, you know, you get Macy's, you get Nordstrom, you get, I don't, I don't even know where, it used to be Saks. I, I haven't seen a Saks in years. I'm sure they're still out there. Um, Tiffany's, Tiffany's will get hit next. You know, some of these, actually, let me look at Tiffany's right now, T-I-F. Because, you know, it's only going to be a matter of time. So Tiffany's are at high. It's 92. Let's see. Can you, can you imagine? I can imagine Bezos right now thinking, that, okay, why can't I? I think, I don't know if he owns Blue Nile or not, but why can't he sell diamonds? It doesn't make any sense for this type of spread that you buy in a rock um, that he's not going to basically be able to get into that business, too. You know, you get certifications, you get all of that. It's only a matter of uh, when he's going to basically take all of those and take them down pretty quick. So um, as we come into the close out here, volume-wise, let's see what we got. You got, uh, we take a look at the SPY. So you're at 43 million in the SPY. Yesterday you did uh, 61 million. You're going into 149 million. Inside the NDX 100, the Qs, the Qs have done uh, 16 million. Yesterday you did uh, 20 million. Bottom line, your over highs are 28 million. There's no one in the store. They're buying the product. They're marking it up. And good luck with ringing around the rose because someone's going to be stuck in a chair here. Uh, the IWM can't get over its high of uh, this 138.82. That's the December 9th high. And the Dow, uh, bottom line for 30 stocks, this is the fourth time that it's tried to get up into a high and failed. So you have four higher lows, or lower highs, rather. Thank you, lower highs. That's what we have. Uh, and you have, uh, actually, and you got one, two, and you get three lower lows. You know, and that is the definition of a downtrend, by the way. <laughs> you stay right there, folks. We are still at earnings. Pretty amazing that still we're going to have numbers coming out. Dow Industrials right now down seven. NASDAQ's up 16. S&P's are flat. Gold's up 640, silver up 20 cents, platinum up 10 and a half, and king dollar down 736. Gonna be right back, folks. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. This is TFNN. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Let's go to uh, Nick in Tampa. Hey, Nick, what's going on? Tom O'Brien, it is an absolute pleasure. 
Thanks so much, man. We appreciate you calling. No problem. Um, dude, I've been listening to your show for about two years now, and it has just been wonderful. I listen to you, Basil, Andy. You guys do an amazing job. Well, thank you so much. Um, we appreciate you growling and prowling out here with us. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. We're halfway through May. It's pretty amazing. May 16th. Wow. Amazing. Don't take anything personally. Transform your life. When you refuse to take things personally, you avoid many upsets in your life. Your feeling of anger, jealousy, and even sadness will simply disappear if you don't take them personally. Easier said than done. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down two, NASDAQ up 20, S&P's flat. Gold contract up $6.70, trading at 12.36.70 an ounce. Silver up 21 cents. $16.82 an ounce. Silver finally caught a bid yesterday, caught a bid today. Silver only has 10 more cents, folks, to get in a larger range. Uh, you get up to $16.92 and you get some action here. It looks like we are going to get action because we're going to talk about that once we get over to good old King Dollar that got toasted, roasted, get the peanut butter, get the jelly, get the cream cheese, get it all out because guess what? It's going to need it. Copper. Copper flat. 254 a pound, light sweet crude down 24 cents, $48.92 a barrel. Now we're going to get the API numbers coming out at 430. We'll see where that baby shakes and rakes. Bonds, 10 year note up three ticks, 125.17, 30 year bond up 12 ticks, 151.20. We have the Fed saying that they're still going to go up on short term rates. Next meeting is June 14th. Your probability is 97% they're going to go up. That being said, guess what? They're buying the notes, they're buying the bonds, and the actual uh, bond and note numbers came out last night. And uh, guess who is not only back in the market, but back bigger than they have been in two years? That's uh, the China Central Bank as well as the Japanese Central Bank. So bottom line is that they're in there buying our notes, buying our bonds, buying all of the above. King dollar, King dollar down 751 ticks. You're at 98.050. King Dollar broke its B point, broke it with volume, broke out the bottom. Monster volume out in King Dollar land out here today. Uh, you get a confirmed ABC structure on the way down. First price projection is 96.835. And right now, we're at 98.050. The euro, the euro is trading at 110, almost 111 to the US dollar. That euro wants to go to 116, folks. It's going to, it's a fast move already, but I suspect it's going to get even faster. The yen, the yen is at 113 flat. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, what do you have? You get a flat market, you're down 22 cents. Bottom line is flat, hanging at the highs. Um, the high we're talking about in the spies, 240.32. That was the high generated out on March 1st. We have made it, uh, we made it above it yesterday, closed below it, made it above today, closed below it. Bottom line, still got a, side, a sideways market. Dow Industrials. Now, the Dow has a little bit different story to tell. Uh, the Dow has four lower highs and three lower lows. That's a definition of a downtrend, folks. It's subtle, but bottom line is that it couldn't make it again today. So we'll see where this uh, shakes out uh, as we come into the market tomorrow. NDX 100, NASDAQ Composite, new all-time highs. They just won't stop. Uh, the composite's up 20 bucks. Composite's at 61.69. Uh, go higher. NDX 100, same setup. We go look, first look at the NDX. What you're going to see, uh, NDX right now closed at up 19 and a half dollars, call it 20 bucks, 57.24, and this has been a one-way track. We were at 47.21 six months ago, so that's quite a move. You got a thousand point move in, in six months. Gold contract, what do we have with gold? Gold contract out here today, you did 195,000 contracts, you're up $6.70, uh, trading at a price point of 12.36, 
uh, 70. Now, <laughs> in gold, folks, okay, the number is 1236.40. Well, now, we made it. I, I'd like to see us get into this with some force tomorrow. What that number is is this. Um, when gold broke down, you know, first it came off the highs of 1297, you know, slipped sideways for four days, went down a leg, slipped sideways again. Then within two days, you went from 1272, you went sideways the next day, and then we are dealing with the third, which went from 1257 to 1236. That's where we're coming into right now. So I suspect we're going to have to build a little cause, get wide price spread, get the accelerated volume in order to get over that part of the supply line, because that's a very large supply line. And it looks that silver is actually going to do the heavy lifting. Silver has been leading the way down, but it looks to me like silver very well could do the heavy lifting. And this is why. Uh, yesterday, silver caught a nice bid. You did 80,000 contracts. You got to 1681. Uh, you give it up in price yesterday. You close at 1641. That's typical of the silver market. But guess what? Bang! Right back up there today has the volume to 69,000 contracts, held the price today. That's saying that we're going to go in, we're going into the May 1st level. Now, the difference is that the May 1st level in silver does not have the amount of force that gold had on that May uh, 3rd era. era. We only did 72,000 contracts. So silver can bust into that. Silver gets back inside $16.92. You're in the higher range. You get in the higher range, guess what? You're going to go higher. King dollar, and where I'm going with that, the, of course, the silver and the metals market, is that king dollar is a one-way trade. Uh, king dollar had made a high last week, uh, and this, you, well, you want to see a counter-trend high and a contraction of volume. It has it all in this, in this uh, dollar. So the dollar had come down on 40,000 contracts, did a counter-trend bounce last week on 18,000, and then did 31,900 today. It takes out the B point, and not only just takes it out, it has the wide price spread, has the volume, has all of it. Uh, bottom line, you get an ABC structure on the way down. And then on top of that, what we have is that if we take a look and we take uh, the dollar, the continuous dollar contract, what you're going to see is that we were in a consolidation since March of 2015. So you're talking over two and a half years. You broke out in November. You made it to a price point of 103. You failed on volume, failed on price, got back inside the range, but you not only got back inside the range, folks, you're getting back inside the range and the thing is thundering down. That's setting up, first off, the 96, 95 area. I expect where we're gonna go with this baby, though, is down to 91. If you break 91, you know, the 91 is where we've been lows since 2015. You break 91, guess what? You can be at 80 in a heartbeat, so. We have something hanging over us right now inside that doll. That doll is getting weaker, not stronger. You stay right there, folks. We come right back. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock in option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? 
now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Tom, take your phone calls. Now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials have finished down two. NASDAQ up 20. S&P's flat. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Andy Heck, as we do each Tuesday and Thursday. And don't forget, folks, Andy's got a great show right here at TFNN every Tuesday and Thursday, 5 to 6 Eastern Standard Time. Uh, bottom line, no matter where you are, folks, remember that right on your cell phone, you can go to TFNN.com. You hit Tiger TV on the right-hand side. You're going to get uh, some great programming, uh, video, as well as audio. Uh, as you come over to our website, at TFNN, uh, you're going to check out Andy's uh, new newsletter. It's a great newsletter. It's right on the front page. Andy, heck, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? I'm doing good, doing good. Just uh, going through these markets here. Always uh, uh, very interesting. Um, lots of... <clears throat> Lots of interesting stuff today. I mean, the big news, I think, today is the dollar uh, falling down below support, falling down below 98, actually closing below 98, 97.998. Uh, looks like, as we said last week, it looks like it's headed to below 96 here. And I'm not so sure it's that the dollar is so weak. It's, is that the, uh, the euro and some of the other currencies are so strong. Well, I, you know what I mean? I mean, I, 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 you know, I, I really don't <laughs> because well, they're selling I, the dollar. They've been selling the dollar for a long time, man. But they're they're buying the euro. And I think that that's that's key here. You know, look, the two biggest reserve currencies in the world are the dollar and the euro. OK, so the, the French election was a, a big shot in the arm, a big vote for uh, continuation of the European Union. There was a lot of nervousness in the markets coming into that after last year. So what we saw is we saw an initial move up to 110 level. But now we're starting to follow through as this Macron, you know, consolidates his power. He's getting he got together at the end of last week together with um, with Angela Merkel. And, um, you know, that that makes the future of the euro union, the euro currency, the European Union, a lot more certain. And uh, I do believe that based on what uh, the ECB said back in February, I think it was, uh, when um, Mario Draghi uh, gave some positive comments on the European economy, but he was afraid to, to, to hike interest rates above, you know, negative 40 basis points because of the upcoming election. I think that now 
he actually has a clear path to do something, to actually take action, to start maybe tapering QE, to perhaps start raising interest rates towards zero. And, the you know, the euro is going to continue to catch a bit on that, and that's going to depress the dollar. So that that's what I'm kind of I guess I guess where what was blowing my mind in, in the context of all this, Andy, is that the, you know, I've been a dollar bear for a long time, so I mean, the dollar to me has been getting sold. I don't quite understand fundamentally why, okay, but just technically. Fundamentally, it's a mind blower. So supposedly, we're supposed to be doing so great and Europe's supposed to be doing so bad. The bottom line is that it looks to me like they're the ones that are doing great and we're the ones that are doing bad. Well, I mean, doing great, doing bad, you know, it's all relative. You know, the euro has dropped from some crazy uh, high level, 155, 160 a couple of years ago. The dollar's come back from under 80 uh, to, you know, to rise to 103. Now we're at kind of 98. Um, basically, it, you know, to me, when I talk about fundamentals in the dollar, it's all around about interest rate differentials, because I think at the end of the day, that's really what, what guides the path of least resistance for currencies. And, you know, whether the U.S. economy well, is no, doing that's, good that's, or it's doing stay, well, bad. Stay, that's perfect. Stay yeah. right there. I mean, sure. if that's what guides it, we're at 2.3 percent and, you know, Europe is at 1.1. I understand, but it's but you know what, Tom? The interesting thing about euros is about um, interest rate differentials is it's that's where we are, right? And the market has that baked in. It's been baked into the market for a while now. It's really the next move that currency markets reflect, and I think that they they're, they're starting to think that hey. You know, one and a quarter percent is baked into the dollar now and is baked into the interest rate markets. I think they're starting to think that the next move will be a move by the ECB to go from negative 40 to maybe negative 20 basis points, which probably would make the dollar go even lower. Yeah, no, my, my take is the dollar's going to 91. If we break 91, we're back I, I to 80. I think that's very possible. Which is going to be a mind blower. Especially if the euro, if the ECB, uh, you know, announces a taper and announces a, um, uh, a, a interest rates going back towards zero and maybe even higher. Remember, Tom, the dollar took off from 78.93 in May 2014. And what happened then? That was right around the time where they announced that they were going to taper QE, they were or they were tapering QE and that, you know, they were going to move towards a less accommodative policy. So now when the euro... When the ECB does that, we should expect a similar move in the euro now that all the political nonsense nonsense is out of the way. So I don't necessarily disagree with you. I'm just saying that the fundamentals are kind of looking at the next move. And I think that the next move in the euro is is an interest rate hike. Yeah, I guess. So, I, yeah. I, I guess. And that's what will precipitate, you know, what you're talking about, which is a move down to 91 and perhaps below. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, well, you know, I mean, it should be good for gold. I mean, it is today. Gold's back up to 1237 here. Silver, you know, silver's leading once again. They've both been up for four sneaky days in a row now, you know? Yeah, end of so, the world. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, 1606 to 1683 is a big move. No, but you it know is. They listen, it, it's man. It's not lighting the world on fire on either side. It came I, down slowly. It's going up slowly. I'm with you, man. I, I want to yeah. see this uh, in the 1692, $17. And silver, yeah, and if we get right. that, we're going to get some big action, man, you know? Yeah, we should. We should. But then again, we should have gotten some big action on the downside. Well, we did get some big action on the downside. We, we washed out pretty good. Let's just put a silver no, chart up there, there's no doubt. Yeah. Yeah, we washed out pretty good there. We had some pretty big down days. We could, as you said, above 1692, we could have some pretty big up days on the horizon. And it's about time. I mean, look, silver right now is still just under... Two bucks below where it was on April 17th. Right, right. And that's after that's after a 75 cent recovery. <laughs> no, no, no doubt. Yeah, hey, I how mean, about was, how about that cotton move, right? Yes, I wanted to bring that up today. And and you know, I get a lot of emails about cotton because in my technical commodity report, you know, I, I had been long cotton from um, from uh, when it was 66 cents a pound in one of the ETFs. Okay. And we took a pro we took a profit above 80 cents because that was my target all along. Yeah. And you know, some people have been like emailing me saying, "Oh, you know, the thing is keeps going." I said, "Oh, be careful here." 
And what's the, the what is the cotton ETF, Andy? Is it BAL? Uh, BAL. BAL. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And and that sucker, man, that sucker exploded. Look you know, it had a yeah. spike high, but you know, I was very happy to take profits. Oh, at, no, you know, totally. above eighty yeah. cents. I right. Mean, you know, right. It was a good move. Caught fourteen cents. So you leave the last six or seven oh, there's, cents there's no, there's on the no table. Doubt. Yeah. And right, right now, you you know, you're feeling pretty sick right now if you're long cotton. You know, especially if you bought it, you know, yeah. yesterday. On the, on uh, the... But I, I still like cotton. I think that the price action's great. I think we'll eventually see 90 cents. But in a market like cotton, you could see 75 cents before you see 86 again, you know? Yeah, hey, you stay right there, folks. Andy and I are coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow Industrials right now. Closed down to Nasdaq up 20, SP's up a buck and a half. Andy and I are coming right back, folks. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank is a member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to the Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. TFNN has put together the finest live programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast nine hours a day starting at 8 a.m. as John Logan kicks us off each trading day with the Global Market Pulse. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour. Following the Tom O'Brien Show, Mondays and Fridays, catch live trading on the Nadex platform with hosts Tom and Tommy O'Brien, along with Daryl Martin on the Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts. And keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN, educating investors. This this segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. We're talking to our man, Mr. Andy Heck. We are talking commodities. And, folks, as you come over to our website at TFNN, uh, you go under newsletters. And when you go into newsletters, what I want you to do is that you're going to click uh, all newsletters. And what you're going to see right there is daily essential equities. I'm man, Mr. Andy Heck, just started a great new newsletter. Uh, this newsletter has uh, everything and anything. Uh, when we talk in equities, we're talking to, uh, about the ETF business. Uh, and, of course, we're talking about commodities. Yeah? Because uh, what we do have, uh, you know, and we have had for quite a while now, is that the aspect of... Um, you can trade commodities in that ETF market each and every day. 
So I'm Andrew Sandy Hex. Got a nice new newsletter. Check it out. Contest drive it 30 days absolutely free. Right at TFNN, yeah. folks. And I'm concentrating on that stock market now because, quite frankly, Tom, I think that the stock market is practicing a little bit of benign neglect. Uh, and, uh, you know, I, I think the upside's limited and the downside, ooh, I think I'm looking at an elevator shift a little bit in the stock market. Uh, now, I, you know, I don't know when, but, you know, just feels I, to me listen, like it's I, coming soon, baby. You, you're talking to the right person, but the point, <laughs> that being said, uh, you know, what we it have. It always comes out of left field, Tom. It, well, no, that's what always happens. I, listen, I, yeah. I've been around this long enough that I, that yeah, I know yeah, that. Yeah. You're not going to catch me long, I can tell you that. I'll be long oh, gold all oh. day long. Right, um, right. I can sleep, but yeah, I I could never right. sleep. Uh, with, I agree. Uh, you know, basically being long and uh, I agree. And if you're selling puts, make sure you're selling puts on stocks with very low, very low valuations in this market. Look at those PEs, because I wouldn't sell puts with anything that's around the Cape ratio. I I, I think it's a very scary market right now. But I wanted to point something out to you here, yes. uh, and that's a market that we never talk about. Okay. And that's rice. Rice. And the rice market exploded last week. What's the symbol for rice? RCN is the July RCN, rice contract. Okay. And let me let me warn everyone, folks, this sucker trades by appointment only. Yeah, you can't and trade I it. I wouldn't right. trade it. It's like a lumber, but it is, it, to me, it's very important to look at rice because rice can tell us a lot about what can happen in the grain markets. Okay. And Let's... take a look at what happened in that rice market. Boom. Explosion went from you know broke out to the upside. Uh, closed today. Let's see where it closed today on my screen at around 10 uh, 1062 and a half per hundred weight. Uh, this thing was trading down at 913. Uh, really nice move up on the WASD and on the fact that uh, in places like Bangladesh there's a big rice shortage uh and china's importing a tremendous amount of rice and that's putting strain on supplies from the big producers which are india also you're getting a big um uh, uh the effect of a very strong rupee on on the uh the rice market there which is making rice uh, uh go higher and also from vietnam they're, they're buying a lot of rice those are two of the world's biggest producers yeah look so, at this when i just pulled this up so you get a yeah. lot of these countries, Philippines changing their rule. They actually, they just did this today. They're changing the import rule to allow, uh, okay, the National Food Authority approved a new system for rice importing, allowing private companies to participate to ensure prices are competitive. Yeah. So, right, and to ensure supply. They say prices are to ensure supplies. Exactly. So there'd right. be no riots. Right, right. exactly. Right. No food riots. Very important. And uh, so that's an so interesting that, one. So do you know, is that a weather-related event, Andy? Or do, do we know well, yet? Well, yes, yes. There was there were weather problems in Bangladesh. Okay. Uh, there are some issues in Asia with rice. You know, and the bottom line, it's a, it's a supply issue. The supplies are not keeping up based on the weather. Well, the, the projected supplies are not going to keep up. The mar rice market could go into a small deficit, and you see an immediate response in the rice price. And and I'm not saying – I'm not talking about rice here to trade rice. I'm talking about rice because when you look at soybeans and you look at corn no, and you look I can at see wheat, that. Uh, you know, you got to keep these things in mind. Well, the thing that's intriguing is that, you know, like you're saying it's in a deficit, and I'm sure that's what it is in the, in the context of the world – but right here, it's saying that the production actually rose 12.4%, and that's still not enough. <laughs> yes, it's not enough. And again, again, Tom, as I've said every time, and we've discussed this, and even we talked to our friend Sal Gilberti, who was on a while yes. ago with you, it is the fact that demand continues to go up each and every day with population, and there's just not enough food to, you know, in, in a bad crop year, there's just not enough food around. That's and the intense, world has man. become very, very complacent, Tom. Yeah. You know, over the last, since 2012, when we had that drought, the world has become very complacent and consumers buy hand to mouth. And it, all it takes is one bad weather event, one flood, one drought period. It throw this whole fundamental equation on its, on its head, you know? It's pretty wild when you think about it. Yeah. Now, let's look at cocoa for a minute. Yeah. We're going to talk a little bit about all these kinds of commodities today, if we have time. Okay. Um, cocoa rallied from the lows. You know, we got down to 17.56 a ton. Oh, I like and the this reason setup. it rallied, and it, it had a sharp rally, but it yeah. rallied 
because the president of the Ivory Coast had promised the military a bonus for supporting him in the recent election about a year ago. Okay. And because Coco fell so sharply, they paid out less than half that bonus. So the military, the soldiers, started shooting in the air, started closing roads, and the price of cocoa exploded because, you know, if you screw around with the logistics in the Ivory Coast and sure. that cocoa can't get to port, that's a problem. Now, cocoa's likely to come down again because the president now has has promised to pay the troops the 11 grand or whatever, you know, whatever the, the, um, the, the conversion is uh, per soldier. But if they don't get those payments out and they're going to struggle to do so because of lower cocoa revenues, uh, we could see some military coup in that country. I like the setup, though. Let me see this for a second. So you get cocoa at 2,034 a ton, 1595. I, I haven't traded this for a few years. I like trading cocoa. Co what yeah, happens with cocoa, like folks, is that it, it, you know what happens, Andy? It's pretty wild. It only seems to move the last 30 minutes right before the market closes. Yes. Yeah, well, yeah. And, and that can be a blessing or a curse. I know, I know. <laughs> Believe me, I, I, I know and it's, that. And it's a, it's a, you know, I always tell people who are starting out trading that cocoa is a great uh, commodity to start out with. First of all, it has volatility. Second of all, it's a it's a small contract value. So yeah, it is. It's, it's only, only twenty grand per, right now. Right, it's only about twenty grand. When yeah. you look at something like oil, you know, you're talking about uh, 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 you know fifty thousand dollars. You're talking sure. about gold. You're talking about one hundred twenty-three thousand. Right. So, you know, it, it's a nice contract to get your feet wet in the commodity futures market. Yeah, because of the that you know your exposure is is not that big. So you know. I think this one looks very, very interesting here. Um, I also wanted to talk about some of the meats. I'm doing the, the off uh, topics today. We're having some setbacks in the cattle here. Uh, the cattle are coming lower, but the hogs, Tom, the hogs continue to, to go higher. And today, the uh, lean hog market put in a bullish Look key reversal that. trading Holy pattern. Cow. And made a new high and looks like we're going after 80 cents here. So... Lots of, holy cow, actually it's holy hog. <laughs> because, because yeah, the, this, this, you know, <laughs> folks, this is, you talk about, this just went from 69 cents to 79 cents. That might not seem like a lot, but in the futures market, folks, that's a fortune. Hey, it's yeah. a big, big move. You're getting some big, big moves. And then I also that's want a, to that's, talk that's, about. Yeah, yeah, just stay right here. We'll take yes. one more, all right? Stay right there, folks. Andy and I are coming right back. Uh, in, uh, on the break, you can come over to our website. You can test drive uh, Andy's new newsletter. It's Daily Essentials um, Equities by our man, Mr. Andy Heck. You go into newsletters, go into all newsletters. You'll see it right there. You can test drive it uh, 30 days. I'll be right back, folks. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen live during those shows and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming. See high definition video giving you crystal clear charts as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp full fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear high definition audio and video. Tiger TV exclusively at TFNN.com. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. 
Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. A Rubik's Cube offers more than 100 million starting positions, resulting in 43 billion billion potential twists and turns, yet this puzzle can be solved in 20 moves. Knowing the right move makes all the difference in the world, and on Wednesday, May 17th at 5.30 p.m., I'll share with you the five essential patterns for timing the market so that you can make the right moves and become a better trader and investor. A few weeks back, I showed you how to spot a bear market with two moves that the market always makes, and on Wednesday, I'll unlock the five best moves for timing any market for any time frame. To gain access to this extraordinary one-hour workshop, test drive my newsletter service, Mastering Probability, for the next 30 days for free. Just visit the homepage at TFNN.com and click on the link, Five Essential Patterns for Timing the Market, and you'll be able to attend live as well as review this workshop anytime during the next 30 days. I'm looking forward to helping you solve the puzzle of the markets, and I'll see you on Wednesday, May 17th. TFNN.com, we've got your back. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. We're talking with our man, Mr. Andy Heck. We are talking equities. We're talking commodities. Uh, you know, uh, right there when we were just talking there, Andy, the API numbers come out. Uh, oh, so oh. it's saying stockpiles rolls 882,000. Barrels, uh, looks like it just took oil from, uh, it's not that bad. Well, let's see. No, nah, that's a small one. It took it from uh, 48.90 to, looks like 48.50, 50 cents. That's not the end of yeah, the world. Yeah, yeah. And gasoline, what'd they do with that? Because I've been looking at gasoline lately. That's interesting. Um, let's see. API. Okay, uh, so... Crude inventories rose 882,000 barrels. Cushing, okay. Cushing was up 539. Gasoline was minus 1.79 million. I like that. That's that's and positive. That's why they're not going to take it down. And what about distillates? Uh, my, uh, plus 1.79. That's funny. Same number. So distillate, yeah, I mean, that's that's a yeah. seasonal thing. That that kind of makes sense okay. to me. I, I kind of like that gasoline market. I think it's been been making... Let's just put a chart of gasoline. Let's put a weekly chart of gasoline up so we can take a look at that. That's been making nice uh, higher lows, higher highs. And I think... Listen, with the crack spread in gasoline, is it around 1870 or so yeah. per barrel? I think I got a. Uh, my nose is kind of twitching in gasoline. I think we could see gasoline go from 160 up to up to to 180 or higher, and that ca crack spread go from 25 to 30 dollars. Your nose is twitching. I love that. Yeah, I just <laughs> it just feels it just feels very uh, it feels good here. Uh, oh the, man, that was the, good. Uh, the gasoline. That so, was freaking we'll great. To, my we'll nose to, is twitching. We'll I, I like we'll it. I like it, man. I like we'll it. We'll have to see. And natural gas, Tom. You know, I love this commodity man it's the commodity we love to hate on friday this thing looked like it was going to the moon it put up a new high above 340 that the the injection number was low it had everything going for it and then what did it do today i mean we we've learned those of us who trade in natural gas live to expect this down 12 cents 323 now it looks like it's going back to the lows and that's down 3.3 percent folks yeah big numbers all right uh, no, no. And you had Big some number. juice behind the move, 115,000 contracts, man. Yes, That's and it did. And by the way, the big news in natural gas is not the price action, it's the open interest. The open interest, let me just take a quick look, 1.569 million contracts, and the drum roll, it's a new record high, higher than in April 2013. Uh, that is telling us there are a lot of positions in natural gas. There's a contango in the market, meaning that deferred prices are higher than nearby prices, and that favors shorts. Um, okay. it, it's basically a bonus for shorts, because if you're short natural gas, as the market rolls from June to July, yeah. you're going to sell the July and buy back to June, you're going to get a little bonus, probably yeah. six, six, seven cents. And if you're long, and there's a lot of longs out there too in natural gas, yeah. 
you got to pay the piper. You got to pay up. I know. And hey. and you know what? I'll tell you something. Natural gas has moved from 252 in February up to 340 last week. And even if you paid seven or eight cents a month for the rolls, you're still in funds. You're still up on that trade. If you're long, you're down if you're short. Yeah, so right. the, 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 the move in the price has made up for the cost of the carry of the position. Yeah, yeah let's take a quick call. We got our man sure. Al from Tampa. Hey, Al, what's going on? It's a beautiful day when the stock goes up, isn't it? And, uh, it certainly is, man. No doubt about it. So he's looking uh, at lumber liquidators. Uh, commodity, of course. Now, this is a little bit different type of commodity. So what are you going to do, Al? Well, I'm, I'm worried about the market, and the VIX is very low, and uh, I wonder if we're going to get a pullback. Well, I guess, you know, the biggest thing, I mean, with li lumber liquidators, I mean, you had quite a run here. You're, you're, you're coming right into this number that you've got to be careful of, you know. It's the 2770. Yeah, the, uh, 26. Yeah. yeah. You know, you, you, that's, that's, that's the number, man. You know, you got 2779, you hit 2690 today. Uh, what you don't want to happen is, so your next uh, 731 is the next earnings out here. You know, I, you just got to just be careful, man. That's the bottom line with this, you know. Okay. Can you look at another one, Wendy's? That's what I'm trying to figure out. I bought it back 20 years, and the tie is only 25, and it's, it's going up like uh, fire right now. Yeah, Wendy's is an ABC up, so. Do you think it'll break the 25? Well, you got, let's see, so your B point is 14, your A is 9, you get 5 bucks. That gives you 18. Let me see. I mean, I brought it yeah, back. Yeah, no, that, that can go there. I mean, it went down so quick. It went straight down from 22, what, to 2 bucks. So, yeah. you know, 13. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're, yeah, that can go test the high. You know, the blow of the high is 19, the high is 22, man. You're at 1641. Okay. Can I ask you one more, GFI? GFI, so that's a gold stock. Right. Yeah, that needs some, you know, we need some volume in this. I mean, it's going, it's doing right what everything else is doing. I mean, it just went from $3 to $3.64. But you want to see some strength in this thing. Let me go put, look at this in South Africa for a second. Oh, I, oh okay. You might get some strength tomorrow in South Africa. This is nice. I just looked at this in South Africa. It's pushing into this swing with volume in South Africa. And so it had volume out here today. That's saying it's going to push into the gap. So we bring it back. What happens with these golds, folks, if you, you want to go right to the country that they're dealing with, too. Yeah. So, I so, didn't know that. Yeah, so that's, and, and Al, you can do that. There's a South African exchange. It's free. Just go to it in the morning. I, I'm there every morning, man. Cooking, brother. Okay, thank you. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. Okay. Yeah, you know, Andy, LUM and lumber still ain't stopping either, man. <laughs> well, lumber, lumber, uh, lumber's pulled back. Lumber's pulled back uh, a bit. I mean, that's come down from 417 to 370, and that's coming down with all these industrial commodities. I wish I could put a chart of iron well, it, ore today, up here. It, today, it, it caught, caught quite a bid today, man. It went from 367 to 387. Three, which, which contract you're looking at? Uh, the May contract. Let me see. Oh, the May. Okay, I'm I'm looking at July. Let's okay. just say there, there's a lot of there's a lot of. Let's just see what kind of volume May did today. I see that. Yeah, it did 350 contracts. That's the problem with lumber. Lumber's oh yeah, no, no, I, I understand Lumber, that. Lumber's it's, not, it's not tradable. I understand that. Right, yeah. it's not tra tradable. I just want to see what July did. See July. Eh, between May and July, between all months, they did 350 contracts. Right. And the May's that 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 move today in May is just people the scrambling out. out. Yeah, closing right. out. So yeah. the July actually traded in a four dollar range. Yeah, that was down so, ninety cents. I see. Yeah, okay. yeah not right. much, not much going on there. But lumber in general, it's it's following what we're seeing in iron ore, which is below sixty bucks per ton. 
Again, uh, copper, which is down 30 cents, all the LME metals. I like that copper industry. market, though, man. Keep an eye on that copper. I'm telling you, you know, because what has happened is that TGB is moving. Uh, SCCO looks like it wants to move. It's going to get mm -hmm. interesting, man. Uh, that We'll see. But... It, We'll see. We'll see. I mean, the problem with copper, lower highs and lower lows since the highs in February. It needs to break above 270 to, to do anything here. Now, folks, coming up at 5 o'clock, we're talking 10 minutes. I'm Ann, Mr. Andy Heck. Jump right on your cell phone right now. Pull up TFNN right at 5 o'clock, Ben. You can actually hit it right now. Hit Tiger TV. Andy, thank you so much. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Look forward to the show in 10 minutes. Thanks, Tom. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date action Active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under trading newsletters. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. With over $56 million in cash and over $66 million in working capital, Great Panther Silver is positioned as a company with a solid foundation and poised for growth. While completely unhedged to the price of silver, Great Panther retains 100% ownership in two producing mines in Mexico, which is the top silver producing country in the world, along with future potential production in Peru. Great Panther is highly leveraged to the price of silver, and after a great year of performance in 2016, Great Panther Silver has a strong outlook for 2017 as well. With good liquidity in trading and strong fundamentals on the balance sheet, while remaining completely unhedged to the price of gold and silver, now is a perfect time to take a closer look at this equity. If you'd like to find out more about Great Panther Silver, then go to greatpanther.com or check them out on the NYSE market, symbol GPL, or the TSX, symbol GPR. Join Andy Hecht as he shows you how to make money in commodities. The Commodities Hour, next on TFNN. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. And, folks, if you'd like to test drive my uh, daily newsletter, or, which is Market Insights, or the Gold Report, the way you can do that, come over to our website at TFNN. Go into newsletters. Uh, if you'd like to test drive the Market Insights, you can do that two weeks absolutely free. If you want to test drive the Gold Report, that you can do that 30 days absolutely free. So, um, Euro, dollar, uh, we're going to go to the yen first. Why the yen? Because uh, what you have here is that we get some good movement and the yen today, meaning it got stronger, went down. Uh, we went from a price point today, 113.79 to 113.10. And this was one fast and furious move. Uh, it seems that the yen actually likes to move in our sessions now. You know, when I did a uh, webinar this morning at 8 o'clock, uh, the yen was up there at 113.72. And that had established, uh, you know, lower highs. Uh, it was the fifth lower high in the last five days. And sure enough, it basically went down the very end uh, of this whole trend, 
made lower lows. You know, so what we do have uh, right now is that uh, this baby going back. Um, this is going to be interesting. How many days can I go back here? There it is. Okay, so I can go back to go back to the tenth. Yeah, you go. You're going back five days. Going back five days, you you have uh, lower highs and lower lows. So bottom line is that more than likely what we're going to be doing is that we're going to be heading towards the 11247 area. Now that, as the yen goes down, meaning it gets stronger, that puts a bid under the gold market. Uh, we know that uh, we have a confirmed ABC structure down on the dollar index, and you got to remember inside the dollar index, your correlation there, uh, just between the the euro and the yen, the euro is 57.5%. Uh, uh, weighting structure, the yen's 13.6. So uh, what do we get? 60, you get 61%. That's 61% of the whole deal. Uh, the pound uh, is uh, 11 after that. And the pound, uh, bottom line, looks like it's going to take off too. The euro certainly is, uh, this is a monster move by the euro, folks. And it looks like the euro wants to get up to this uh, 113 to 116 area. Now, when you come over to our website at TFNN, you know, you've heard um, uh, the CEO of uh, Everbank on uh, many times. Uh, and as you get to TFNN, uh, what you're going to see on the right hand side, um, you know, the Everbank banner. Uh, and as uh, Chris Gaffney has uh, walked you through this many times, uh, this is a great time to open up. A foreign currency account, folks. The way this works is that you can open an account for $100 a month, um, and you just put $100 in every month up until you get up to $2,500. All you can just open it with $2,500. Uh, bottom line is that um, this is a great way to diversify uh, and simultaneously, you know, maybe make some money. Because the bottom line is that uh, the way this, this dollar is, is moving, um, it looks to me like the dollar is going to go a lot lower. Euro, the euro wants to go a lot higher. The pound wants to go a lot higher. Uh, and in this particular case, uh, the features inside of this, it's, you know, you get interest on your money. It's an FDIC account. It's IRA eligible. It's all of the above. Um, no fees, by the way, also. You, so you're talking about uh, something that's pretty cool. You know, $2,500 to open it. No monthly account fees high yield uh, management account, FDIC insured, um, you know, it's available for business, and there's all different currencies. Uh, so check it out on the front page of TFNN. You know, you can give them a call at 855-750-4051. Um, and, you know, if, you want, if, you're going on vaca if you're going on vacation to Europe or some other country, it's a must. You definitely want to do it because then you're just matching your balance sheet. You're going to spend 10 grand? Good. Put 10 grand in there. You know what your expenses are. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. You stay right there. Our man, Mr. Andy Heck, is going to be coming up next, growling and prowling with you. Remember, go right to your cell phone, tfnn.com. Hit Tiger TV. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. Look forward to speaking right here, 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. Meow! Go get them, folks. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. This is TFNN.